When you're creating a script, sometimes you may face a situation uh, where you are not sure how to find an element in the website, all right? Cypress has some inbuilt methods that we can use to, well, use the finding of elements. And in this video, we're gonna review how to use parent, parents, parents until, brief, brief all, brief until, and siblings. I just want to tell you that I have created also an couple of videos with more methods that you can use like children, closest, equal, filter, and so on. If you're gonna take a look of that, just access the playlist section in this channel and you're gonna find, um, well, the course or the tutorial, Cypress tutorial for beginners and inside you're gonna see the, the videos that I'm trying to tell you. Also, I'll try to give or uh, give you the, the links in the description on in a comment. I'm not sure, but I'll try to do it as well. Um, okay, guys, let's start with the parent method. But before that, I want to tell you that, well, I have created a Udemy course if you are interested in that using Cypress 10 Plus. Of course, this is gonna be updated as soon as new releases are coming. I'll try to, well, uh, upload more videos. Uh, and if something is not up to date, I'll try to replace it with new content. So I, I hope that you can, well, find the course interesting. Here you can see the curriculum and all the videos that we have. It is more than 10 hours for now, but it is gonna increase, I'm pretty sure of that. And I just wanted to give you, well, that uh, information, if you're interested in, 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 in you want to uh, get a coupon, a discount coupon, just let me know in the comment section and I'll try to give you uh, that for you, okay? Also, it is not totally uh, up to 10 plus. It is gonna be, if, if there is more releases, more versions, I promise this is gonna be uploaded and upgraded for you, okay? Let's continue with the course, guys. Let's just start with the parent method over here, okay? I'll inspect what we have in the HTML, and you can see that this is a diff element, right, with, which is the container, and inside we have a p tag. The p tag over here has, well, the text morbileo rhizos, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure how to pronounce this uh, weird text here. Probably it is another idiom or something. And inside of the p tag, we have a mark, um, HTML element with the class traversal mark and the text in that mark HTML is a highlight all right so what what let's review what is happening in this part and example it is getting the element with the class traversal mark which is this one over here all right and using the command that parent it is going to get the parent DOM element of this particular element over here which means what its parent is the p tag all right, so it is going to check that it contain the Morbi Leo Rises text inside of the PTAC. Of course, if I make this assertion over my traversal mark, it doesn't have the text, right? But using the, the, that parent method, it should because it is returning or yielding its parent. Let's review if it works or not and how you can prove this by Cypress. Okay, I'll be opening here the execution. I'll be executing this again. You can see that I have I have already created the, the structure here because I don't want to uh, this video to take 20 minutes <laughs> or more because it is gonna be long, but not long enough if, if I create the, the, the structure from scratch, right? If I access the console here, I'll start reviewing what is happening step by step. For example, in this side get, you can see that, well, it is getting the mark HTML element HTML element with the class traversal mark, right? But using the parent method, you can see that it is yielding the PTAC, which is the parent, okay? That is great. And if we make the assertion contain, it has a text that, or it contained the text that I was looking for, okay? That is great. Let's continue with the next example, which is parents, okay? Let's review what is happening here in the DOM. I'll inspect this element, and you can see that it is a div container, and inside we have a block quote, okay? In the block quote, we have a p tag with the main text at the beginning, and then we have a footer. In this footer, we have a text and also a site, okay? You can see that the site has the source title uh, text, and its class is traversal site, okay? So let's review what is happening in the example. We have the site get over here. It is looking for this class, traversal site, and then it is using the command that parents to get all the parent DOM elements of the, this particular element in particular, right? So you're gonna see that it is gonna return. For example, it's part the parent of the site element is footer, block quote, div, <laughs> right? Another div. Then we have uh, the body and the HTML probably. Okay, let's review if this is what is happening on, in, in the background, okay? 
So I'll be closing the, and I, I'm, I'm opening the parents example here. I'll get the traversal, traversal side element. You can see that this is the correct one. This is the, the traversal side source title, all right? And if I use the parents element, it is returning H, uh, I'm sorry, eight elements as, as yielded. And as I told you before, here we have the footer, the block quote, the div, every single div as container, and then we have body and HTML. What is happening here is that it is getting all the parents of this particular element that I, I was finding using the traversal side class, right? So it is amazing. And as you can see, what is happening in the in the example, right? Uh, is that it is matching or see or yeah, reviewing if it match or it has the block quote element as an element. In the in the list okay so that is great and let's continue with the next part which is using parents until let's, let's review what is happening here guys this is an, an ul under the container div right or the div container and here we have the ul which is an another list with the class nav and clothes nav okay so as you can see the cypress example here is looking for the class clothes nav right which is this one over here and then it is looking for the descendant element that has the, that active class or the active class actually, right? So let's review. It has an li, an element in the list. And you can see that it has an a tag and another unordered list. So I'm going to access the second unordered list. And you can see that inside here we have the class active. And that is something great. Now that I have that I have found the element, I want to use the command that parents until and stop the parents counting until the clothes nav class is displayed, which is this one over here. So probably the parents of this element until we found the clothes nav class are UL, the UL with a class menu, and also the LI over here. So uh, it, it is going to return or yeah, the yielded object should have a length of two elements, which are UL class menu and the LI uh, until we found the other class over here, which is clothes nav, right? I, I hope that you get the idea. I know it is kind of tricky, but let's review it step by step using the Cypress runner. I'm gonna open this. You're gonna see that when I find the element that clothes nav, well, it is returning the UL, right? As I told you before, then it is look for the descendant element with the class active, which is only one, right? And then, well, using the parents until it is returning the the items that I just set, right? The UL with the class menu and the LI, as I told you before. So that is great, and the length is of two. That is great, guys. Let's continue with the next example, which is brief. The brief element, I'm sorry, the brief method is going to help us to get the previous sibling DOM elements within elements. All right, let's review this example. Here we have a div container, then we have a UL, and inside of the UL we have different LIs. That is great. So. The example here is telling me that it is going to look for the birds um, class, which is this one over here. It is representing the UL and it is going to find the active uh, class, okay, which in this particular case is cockatoos, right? This one over here. Now that I have found that, I want to use the brief command to, well, get the previous sibling DOM element, which in this case probably it is going to be Lorry kids. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing these words correctly. I'm sorry for that. But yeah, you can see that this is the brief sibling that you can find after or before Cucatus. All right. So it is going to make sure that it should contain Lorry kids as an assertion. That is great, guys. So let's review if it works or not. If I open the brief example here, well, let's review what is happening. It is returning the UL. As I told you before, then it is finding the Cucatus LI with the class active, right? And using the brief, it is going back in the siblings elements. And you can see that here we have the Lori kids as expected. So if I make sure that, uh, well, with the assertion, we make sure that it contains Lori kids as expected. So that is something amazing, guys. Let's continue with the next element. I hope that you're enjoying this video. You're understanding a lot. Please subscribe and, well, hit the like button. It is going to help the channel to, well, keep growing. And I appreciate that uh, gesture from you. Okay. Then we have the brief all command. It is going to help us to get all the previous sibling DOM elements within elements. Use the brief all command. Okay. So here we have an example. Probably it is another, another list. Yeah inside of a div container. And in this UL, here we have one, two, three, four, 
four, five um, elements if I am not wrong, right? And well, what is happening here? It is gonna side get the fruits list, which is the UL, okay? Then it is gonna look the class third, which is this one representing bananas. And then using the command that proof all, it is gonna return probably the allies, the previous sibling DOM elements that we have in the list, which are uh, oranges and apples. All right, let's review if it works correctly and make sure that the assertion return only two elements. All right, let's see. So if I check the proof all command here, you're gonna see that, well, here we have the UL, the UL right, uh, HTML element, then it is looking for the bananas li, right, and using proof all is gonna return a couple of elements, the apples and the oranges. I'm not sure if you can see this in the, in the screen, but well, it is not returning bananas, right, and only apples and oranges. That is something great as well, guys. I have a couple of more uh, methods for you guys. The proof until, it is pretty similar. Let's review what is happening here. It is another UL with the class food list. And in the food list, we have another list of allies here, okay? If we see what is happening inside, it is looking for the class food lists, which is this one over here, okay? Then using the, co the command that find, it is gonna look for the descendant element that has the nuts ID. In this particular case is this one over here with the text nuts, okay? Then it is going to use the command brief until to return all the elements until it finds the ID veggies, which is this one over here. Okay, so we have a, an, well, three elements between them, right? Uh, from the food list, it is gonna find nuts, which is this one. Then it is gonna return all the previous sibling elements until it finds the veggies ID over here. So it should return corn, carrots and cucumbers this one is over here so i think that it is pretty clear or i hope so and as you can see the assertion it should have or yeah it, the the yielded object should return three elements inside right or the array i'm not sure let me see what is inside uh, okay in the brief until you can see that yeah it is an array of three elements and they represent corn cu carrots and cucumber not nuts not vegetables i'm using the brief uh, brief until command to get what is in between, right? That is something great. And I do have the last one, which is sibling methods, guys. Please hit the like button, I'll appreciate it. <laughs> Just wanted to say that again. Okay, uh, as we can see in the description here, the siblings method is going to help us to get all the sibling DOM elements of elements. Use the siblings command, okay? So uh, let's review what is inside of this HTML example here. And as you can see, here we have well, a div container. Inside of this div container, here we have uh, another div and we have again an another list every single li inside of this ul is basically one um, menu item home then we have profile and then we have messages right um, if you review this uh, what is happening in the example is that it is going to find the class traversal bills which is the ul right this one over here right then it is going to look for the descendant element that has the active class, which is this li in particular. Then it is going to look for all the siblings, right, that has this particular li, and the siblings are these ones over here, profile and messages. So let's review this execution uh, <clears throat> in the test runner. And as you can see, the siblings is returning the li. Um, let me show you this. Profile, right? and also the messages one in the test runner. I think that my face is not <laughs> letting you to see this. Let me show you this. It is profile, yeah, and it is messages. So I think that it is pretty amazing because we have a lot of uh, methods that could help us to find elements pretty easy in, uh, well, using Cypress, right? Which is the framework that we are reviewing right now. I appreciate you guys that you, if watched this video until the end and um, probably we're gonna start reviewing other frameworks in the future uh, if you want to keep receiving uh, updates about cypress i'll try to well bring more videos here in youtube but also the most complex ones are gonna be uploaded in udemy so i just wanted to say that new thank you very much for all the people that are supporting this channel it's uh it's an amazing feeling that you are backing me, backing me up, right? And yeah, I just wanted to say that, Masters, thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.